雪花飘飘，北风萧萧，天地一片苍茫。That was perhaps the worst song rendering ever. <laughs> anyway, for those of you who already know the song, that's the reason why you're watching this episode. And for those of you who are not familiar, this song that I just rendered is called 一剪梅 and it was sung by a very famous artist called. Fei Yuqing. It was actually an oldie, something like my parents' generation really appreciate. I actually, I grew up definitely hear that my parents occasionally play the song, so it's quite familiar. Now the catchphrase in this song is 雪花飘飘 and 北风萧萧 Let's take a look at these lyrics and see. After this episode, if your Chinese can level up and you can show up in front of your friends. So 雪花飘飘，雪花 means snowflake, and 飘飘 means flutter. It's a motion, a verb. So 雪花飘飘 you can understand as the snowflakes are fluttering, and 雪花雪 means snow, 花 means flower. Now you know why we say snowflake as 雪花 It literally looks like a flower, right? 跟我读雪花。雪花，雪花，飘飘 here is a double character situation. So in China, it's pretty common. Sometimes we do it like because it's cute. You hear people call someone's name and they double their characters. So that's for the closeness and for the cuteness. And other times when we double the characters, it has certain balance, it has certain rhythm, and it fits into the entire the overtone of our language. So here, piao piao is an example. It's the same with the following xiao xiao. So 雪花飘飘 that creates a full character, well balanced structure. So it's very nice, neat, and also very catchy. Now let's take a look at 北风萧萧 So 北风北 North, 风 wind. So 北风 the northern wind. 北风跟我读北风北风北风萧萧 So 萧萧 is a motion that indicates the swirl that the wind creates. So when the wind blows, you can say this as 萧萧 So 北风萧萧 So this basically just means the snowflakes are fluttering and the northern wind are blowing. So that's what this catchphrase means. 现在跟我读雪花飘飘，雪花飘飘，雪花飘飘，北风萧萧。北风萧萧 So one thing that I do want to point out is that with these double characters, you almost never emphasize on the last tone. So you don't need to say 雪花飘飘，北风萧萧 So both of them are the first tone. You don't need to always go so upbeat.、Um, you always try to relax your tone, try to relax your mouth a little bit on the last character. That's pretty easy to understand. So you go with 雪花飘飘，雪花飘飘。So it just、uh, kind of like fall down naturally. 北风萧萧，北风萧萧。So it fell flat naturally, and so that's it. 再跟我读一遍，雪花飘飘，北风萧萧。One last point is you will notice that when singing this song, the tones are slightly different. That goes the flow of the rhythm, and that happens in every language. So I'm just gonna show you how to say it properly in reality. So today's 雪花飘飘 and 北风萧萧 did you get it? I'll see you next time. Have fun, enjoy the song.